Heiser Aptitude Test. It is that one exam that can get you into India's top research institutes like Heiser, IISC, IIT Madras and many more. There is just one month left for this exam and some students messaged me saying please make a video about IAT about what mistakes we should avoid right now. So today's video is all about that, what mistakes you should avoid in the last month so you can give your best in the exam. This video will have two parts. First part, super important tips and tricks. They might sound common but people usually ignore them so I just want to remind you so that you don't make the same mistake. Second part, secret and lesser known tips. The kind that most students don't even think about but people who have been through this phase know very well. It is gonna be very useful video so please I request you watch the whole thing without skipping. I usually don't insist like that but today I am, it's for your own good. So let's start this video. Let's start with first part. First, don't start new topics now. Right now, don't waste time starting new chapters. Focus on making topics you already know even stronger. But that doesn't mean you completely ignore what you have not touched yet. At least go through the basics and try a few questions because IAT questions usually mix concepts from different chapters. For example, imagine you have mastered one chapter and a question from it comes. But while solving it, you realize you also need a basic concept from a chapter you skipped, then you will be stuck. That's why I am saying even if you have not studied a chapter deeply, at least know the basics. It will help you for sure. Second, give mock tests. Mock tests are super important right now. If you have not started taking them yet, start now. Try giving 3 to 4 mocks every week. After each mock, properly analyze which chapters you are weak in and work on them. If you are confused about where to get mock tests, uh, check out my latest video. I have explained everything there. And also don't forget to solve PYQs, I mean previous year's questions. Third, how to revise. Of course, you will be revising, but that doesn't mean you reread the entire chapters. Just focus on solving important questions you have marked in your notes earlier, I mean those questions which are very important of that chapter, and take full advantage of your short notes. They are your biggest weapon right now. Especially revise inorganic chemistry more because it is all about memorization. Also revise from one place only. Don't keep jumping between NCRT reference books, random notes every other day. Stick to one source only. It will help you to uh, memorize things properly. Fourth, check the syllabus properly. Study according to the official IAT syllabus. Otherwise, you might miss out uh, important topics because the IAT syllabus is not exactly like J mains. It follows NCERT and there are some topics that are not even uh, J mains. Uh, you can find the syllabus on official IAT websites. Go check it out. I have given the link in the description box. Now let's talk about part two: secret and lesser known tips. First, set practical goals. Guys, be realistic about your goals. If you are scoring 80 to 100 marks in mocks right now, don't expect to suddenly jump to 200 marks. Uh, that's just not how it works. If you set unrealistically high goals, you will feel super demotivated after the exam if you do not hit them and that will mess up your mindset for other exams like NEST and others too. Instead, focus on fixing your current mistakes and improving step by step. This mindset will also help during the exam. Like if a question is not working out, if you are not able to solve the question, you will know when to move on instead of wasting time thinking like, oh no, if I don't solve this, I won't reach 200 mark. So stay real with yourself. Second, detox your mind properly. I know this is a very stressful time and a lot of students uh, start stress eating and been watching social media and all of these things. But if you also start doing things uh, what other crowd is doing, then what's the difference between you and them? Some people even become super negative right now. Stay away from all kinds of negativity, even if it is coming from your close people. When results come, everything will be clear anyway. If you feel stressed, talk to your parents or friends. And if that is not possible, feel free to message me on Instagram or Telegram. Links are in the description box. Just don't waste your time here and there and stay away from any kind of negativity. One bad day can mess up the next few days too, so be careful about this. Again, I am requesting you, please stay away from any kind of negativity. It can ruin your whole journey. Third, adjust your body clock. 
it does not matter how you managed your sleep all year sleep late wake up late whatever but now you have to tune your body clock to the exam timing if your exam is at 11 am uh, but uh, you are used to sleeping at 10 am there is no way possible you will perform your best start training yourself so that uh, you feel your most active during the exam time and no you cannot do this in just one day uh, you have to work on it daily and the best way start giving mock tests uh, during the actual exam time slot and while we are at it make sure you finish your mocks um, 20 minutes earlier than the given time because sitting at home and giving exams is different from the real exam environment where you will be under pressure and there are also many other factors too so be prepared fourth food and health all the hard work you have done the whole year can go to waste if you fall sick now so no matter what if you have to spend a lot of money eat properly sleep well exercise a little do some meditation if possible this might sound like a small thing but if you do not care about your health now all the other tips i given to you will be completely useless so make sure your health is your top priority fifth stop overthinking i know right now you might be very stressing uh, that i have not finished this chapter my friend is ahead which college i will get and all of these things and it's natural but overthinking will only harm you not help you so many students message me daily saying they are uh, feeling stressed and need help I always tell them everyone is feeling the same, you are not alone. Right now forget about all of this thing, focus only on what you can do to make your uh, situation better and keep moving forward with consistency. I know uh, telling all of this is very easy but uh, doing all of this is very hard but um, what, what can you do? Like You have to uh, do this. Uh, so please, please, please stop overthinking and focus on your prep. I can just pray for you and nothing else but you have to do it. You are the person who will do it, right? So please, please, please stop overthinking. Final thing, whatever mistakes you made in the past do not matter anymore. What matters most is what you do in this last month. So give it everything you have got, stay consistent, not like studying uh, 14 hours one day then only 6 the next day. Uh, no need to overdo it. Just be regular and steady. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section or you can message me on Telegram or Instagram. Links are in the description box. That's it for today. Take care, stay positive, take care of your health and thank you for watching this video.